And when they're confident, then that's when the cockiness comes out and it starts to be real fun. I mean, have you seen some guys really kind of step up so far and show that they have that confidence that you kind of mentioned? That? It, it's coming along slowly um, just because of the amount of installation that we put on these guys. Um, but uh, I was just saying that, that you know, Denzel Goolsby yesterday, for example, uh, made a nice play, a TFL or whatever, and, and he looked back at me and, and he says, hey, it's starting to slow down a little bit. And, you know, that, that gives me a, a sense of gratitude because uh, I can just see that some, the light bulbs are turning on on some of these players, and that's what makes it real fun. How much work was it to try to get them to understand a, an entirely new playbook? Well, it's still a, a work in progress. I, I wouldn't say anybody's mastered it uh, by any stretch right now, but it, there's just so much more detail than, than what they're – you know, than what they even know is possible. In the beginning, uh, they didn't even know what they didn't know. And now they kind of know what they don't know. And, and hopefully we can get to the stage where they start to understand what we're talking about, and then we can start playing fast and having some fun. Also wanted to ask about Walter Neal. He's a, kind of, he's a guy that we saw a little bit of last year, and fans, fans saw some potential in him. What has impressed you about him? Walt's a special player. Walt's very smart. Uh, Walt's got a ton of playmaking ability. Walt is... Uh, um, very vocal out there and is able to help people get lined up and help kind of put people at ease because uh, of his of his vocal nature. Uh, Walt's going to be a good one to watch in the fall. You bet. I think he typically, most would say, you know, a, a nickel's a corner, but some snaps look at it more like a safety or linebacker. How do you guys divide that up and decide who, who handles the nickel? We all handle them. Nickel yeah. is a nickel. Yeah. You know, uh, and, and he has to, and that's why in this defense, you've got to understand global concepts. I mean, you really do because there's a lot of interchangeable parts. Right. You know, the safeties are interchangeable parts. The nickel's interchangeable parts. The backers at times are interchangeable parts. And um, certainly there's skill sets that are specific to a position. Uh, nickel, unfortunately, has to have all those skill sets. And uh, so, I mean, you're going to be in the run fit. You're going to be a blitzer. You're going to be, uh, there's times when you're going to be in the middle of the field in the, in the play in the deep middle. I mean, there's times when you're going to be playing man. Yeah, it's a, it's a unique position. You were talking about things slowing down for, for guys a little bit. Jonathan Alexander, of course, first year this level. Uh, how's it come along for him trying to pick up things? He's doing really well. And, and his advantage is that it was new for everybody. Right. So he's not coming in behind others. He's coming in at the same pace as others. And he's a really sharp uh, person. And so he, he just gets things kind of naturally quickly. And so he, he's doing really, really well right now. When you see a guy like him, you know, he's 6'3 and 220, your mind goes straight to he's just a hitter, a run support guy. Is he, is he more than that? No, yeah, he's got some, he's got some athleticism too. And, and, you know, when I first saw him and we started the recruiting process with him, that was the thing that drew me to him more than anything. It's just his ability to change direction and move and play man coverage and played a lot of uh, corner in his past. Uh, he's certainly not a corner here, but he, he does have those skill sets as well. Special face master Blake Lynch yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting every day. It's me and Serb down in the equipment room. We're trying to get that uh, orchestrated. Um, how much fun has the coaching staff had with the access on social media that you guys have been putting in? I can't speak for anybody else, but I'm having fun. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm so impressed with the, the fan base here. It's awesome and how engaged they want to be, you know, even in March, you know, they, they want to be involved. And, and so I'm, I'm so excited to, to see the, what the fall is going to bring. Were you nervous knowing you were going to be mic'd? I didn't even really think about it. And, I, you know, there was times I said some things that I uh, maybe uh, – there was a lot of content that got bleeped out, I'll say that. <laughs> but uh, I tried to keep – you know, there was times I'd you know, say something and then I thought, oh, shoot, man, I got that mic on my – you know. But it was, it was good. No, it's, it's fun. I'd do it every day if I could. <laughs> what, what are just your pres uh, just general thoughts on your disposition group as a whole so far this spring? How they kind of come I, I couldn't be more impressed with them and their work ethic. Now, we have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that we're just a bunch of stars in there, but we, we do have a lot of guys that want to work hard. We have mm -hmm. guys that generally want to, um, you know, improve every day and get better. And that's been the most impressive thing to me. Mm -hmm.